Good afternoon, class. How are you? How was your weekend? Well, it is back from the weekend. Thank you, sir. Yes. So, last week, we looked at introduction to computing, and as a, before we start our new topic, we need to review what we learned last week. Last week, we learned about the definition of it. Computer. As a class, how do you define a computer? Yes. A computer is an electronic device that accepts data input, processes that data, and even processes even processes output. That is your definition. Very good. Apart from his, yes. A computer is a program machine that accepts data input, stores it, and outputs the information in his full format. In his full format. Well done. Out of the two definitions, we identify key point, key words. That is input process, processing output and storage. <coughs> Out of their definitions, these four key words are attached. So when you are defining a computer, you make sure the three words should be what? Inclusive. So that is how we defined the computer last week. And we didn't stop there. We went further. We looked at the characteristics of computers as a machine. As a class, what did we say are some of the characteristics of a computer? Yes, one? Yeah, accuracy. Accuracy. Another? Speed. They are very fast. That is the speed. Another? Yes? David. Storage is one of the characteristics. They have the ability to what? Storage. To store data. Yes? They are automatic. They don't need uh, supervision. It means that they are automatic automation. We have automation. Yes. Lastly. Lastly. Yes, madam. Accuracy. Yes, well done. Last thing. They, they don't get tired. That is. Daily Gen C. For them, they don't get tired. They can do the same task over and over. They don't get tired. Yes? Yes. As a class, let's appreciate these members for briefly giving for us 
reminding us to be the characteristic of the computer by right? giving for them one clap. One, two, three, begin. Thank you. Yes. Before we concluded our lesson last week, we stopped with the, looking at the what the components. Components of a computer. Last week we said there are four major components that makes up a computer fully usable. As a class, briefly, let's mention them. What are they? Yes? One. We have computer hardware. We have hardware. Yes? Another? Yes? Computer software. So, where? Yes, our system, madam. Yes, madam. Data, well done. Let's clap for madam. Yes, brother. Yes, we have the user. Yes, user. User. Stroke, human. Where? So, last week we said they are all a major, or there are four major components that make the computer fully functional. When one misses, the computer becomes non functional out of the four. So, today, we are going to look out of the four. We are going to look at one com major component of a computer. That is computer hard where yes. We are going to look at that. As a class, who can remind us with what is a, a computer hardware? Yes? Yes, Mr. Omega? Yes, computer hardware is a device that is a pressure tangible and you can touch it or you can see it and you can feel it. Yes? In other words, in other words they are tangible devices. Those are tangible devices in a computer. Yes, another definition? Yes. Computer hardware yes. are the physical parts of a computer and related devices. Related devices. Yes. Well done for that. So we can define hardware as Physical, physical and tangible components or devices in a computer. Computer what? System. So. When you look at this definition, we say physical and what definition? A hardware is defined as a physical and a tangible component or a device in a computer system. So, out of our definition, I would like to ask you, members, So 
as you observe this computer system, I'm, I'm going to ask you members to identify for me any physical and tangible component in this computer system. I'm giving you two minutes. Two minutes to discuss with the group members. Yes, you can come close and discuss. You identify for me any physical and tangible component in this machine. I hope you were able to observe and we have seen any tangible components in this complete system. So I'm requesting for your group leader to go and list for us the examples of hardware devices you have seen in this system. Yes, Mr. Ben. Thank you so much for identifying uh, some of the examples of hardware devices in this system. So we say one is a monitor. A monitor is the same as what screen. And you can show this by so in this, this is what is meant by what? The monitor. And we have the keyboard, which is here. The keyboard is here. And it is having very many keys in it. We have the central processing unit. The central processing unit. We can say this is the what the motherboard. The mother. We have the motherboard, which is here. This is what is called the motherboard. And the CPU, the central processing unit, is found inside the motherboard. 
and we have the mouse, which is here. This is what is meant by mouse. And the mouse has two buttons. Actually, it has three buttons. We have the left click, left click, right click, and then scroll up. And then we have cables, which are here. Here, for connecting the various hardware devices. And then lastly, the speaker, which is here used for producing what? Audios or sounds. So as a class, I'm going to give for you as an activity. Out of the many hardware devices, we are going to pick two, that is the keyboard and the mouse. They are shown in the diagram. Some of best people want. Yes. Out of the many hardware devices, we have select two. That is the they are here labeled in the figure, figure one and figure two. So you have, you have some questions here to attempt. The first question says we have to identify the features named. One and two, and then the question, the second question is demanding you to name and state the functions of A, B, C. So in the figure two, when you look at figure two, we have the three features A, B, two. You are to state the name of figure A, part A, part B, part C and you state their respective functions. So, I'm giving you three minutes to identify them and state the functions. We are done with this activity. Yes, sir. So, you bring your books it's for mapping. Yes, this is the group one. Second group. Yes, this is group two. So I'm going to take my time to go through your activity and we are going to stop here for today. I really appreciate you for attending our lesson and thank you for coming. Let's stop here. And before I close the lesson, I want to give it someone to give for us a token of appreciation. Madam Lydia, you lead us through. Thank you so much.